So and um, before we go to the next phase of, of how you get after you got your career to the after the next, I guess you said next three years, et cetera. How do you recommend that to people now starting a business? Should they, you know, go out for because, you know, it's so much stuff out here now with it even being the, you know, the 20, you know, the, the millennium era. And, and, you know, everyone wants to start a, start a business. They want to get a venture capital. They want to do all of those things. Would you recommend that? Or I mean, what I'm going to say, just what are your shared experiences? How do you feel? You know, if you're having a business or you're at the startup phase, what do you think would be the best share yeah. experience? So, so I, I think um, I think it's all about your appetite, right? If if you are if you have a business that could be scaled super fast in an idea today, today I know this. Back then I didn't know this, and back then it wasn't quite this, the, the situation either, right? In the in the early '80s, this wasn't the case. Right. You didn't go out and you, you didn't start a business. And say, Gosh, I need to raise capital because I can scale this thing to be world worldwide, right? It wasn't. It wasn't common back then. It was. I got to start a business, and I, and I need to save some cash to start this business. So, and, and maybe there'd be loan. You go to the bank and get loans and things like that. We did none of that. But but bottom line is, I think uh, nowadays I would say if you can scale a business to be a global business, um, and you can bootstrap that on your own, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, it's not quite as common today, right? I mean, gotcha. there, there's a lot of a lot of methods to raise capital today you didn't have before. Back then it was just you know go to the bank and get some loans. Mortgage your house, mortgage right. your house, and things like that. Um, but but my dad did none of that. He wouldn't mortgage his house. He didn't he didn't uh, he, he he didn't get a loan on a on a pickup truck, a truck, a, a, a skid steer, a roller, whatever. We just didn't do that. Um, so so either way, we we grew with our own cash. We had to make money and save money, and and it was a you know it was a good experience. I felt like I was I was uh, that that I that I was held back from growing fast because of that mentality, oh, really? right? And, and it did, it took probably five six years where I really wanted to grow fast and we couldn't because we we didn't have the cash. Right. We couldn't buy enough equipment fast enough. Right. Um, couldn't hire enough people fast enough because right. we we weren't ready. We, we didn't have the we didn't have a bunch of cash on the sidelines. But but either way, that, that was a good way to grow in, in, into business, because um, I, I think fiscal responsibility personally or in business is, is a key to success in the long run, whether you do that with your own cash or, or you do that with partners. Um, so for me. It was a great experience. For the first 10 years of my career, we, we grew from nothing to a couple million in driveways. And for driveways back then, an average driveway was probably 1000 or 2000 bucks. So it's a lot of driveways every year. And and uh, today, uh, you know, it, it, the the that, that that business isn't something we do a ton of, although we're getting back into it, it looks like. Just, you know, but but so for the first 10 years, that's what it was about, 10, 12 years. Uh, and then, and then uh, you know, my, my dad and I, uh, you know, we're, we, we weren't initially partners, then we were partners and we became stronger partners as, as time went on for the, and by, by the time the uh, 10, 12 years were up, uh, you know, he, we were we were really uh, rubbing each other wrong, right? I wanted to grow faster. He didn't like paving. He really didn't care about growing the paving business. He, he said, we need to do some other stuff. We need to do more trees. We need to do some other. I said, I don't want anything to do with anything but paving. I want to be a paving guy. That's what I want to do. Do you have a story? 